I come to announce to you there is about to be a resurrection for somebody. When you don't exercise your faith, it will not be strong. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must continue to be hearing the word of God. This is Get Connected with Bishop Israel Adey Ajala. Hello and welcome to another blessed time in the Word of God with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala here at Get Connected. Bishop Israel Ade Ajala is God's prophet to the nations and he is the creator of Kindness Revolution. Stay tuned for more as we get into the Word. Our theme for today is partakers of the divine nature. Here is Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. Second Peter chapter one, verses one to four. Second Peter chapter one, verses one to four. Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which has been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Today I'm sharing with you the subject of that I call partakers of the divine nature. The nature of God is faith. Faith is the natural environment that God wants you and I to operate in. The Bible says you are not in the flesh, but you are in the spirit. You are not. Romans chapter 8 verse 9. You are not in the flesh. So, you don't look at things from the physical alone. You don't look at things from the physical alone. Hear this. Faith is a proof producer. Mm. Faith produces proof. There should be proof of faith in your life. I have said it before. Everyone that walks by faith have some things in their life that they can point to and say faith did that. You know, you look at their home, faith did that. You look at their car, faith did that. You look at their health, faith did that. Because faith is a proof producer. You cannot say you are walking by faith and there is no proof. Now, the, what faith produces is not just material. No. Faith produces wisdom. Mm -hmm. Faith produces honor. Faith makes things happen. Why? Faith is a proof producer. And God is a faith God. God is a faith God. God, faith is the nature of God. Faith is the nature of God. So if we, if we, if we want to be like God, we have to be people of faith. If we want to be like God, we have to be people of faith. That's why you cannot turn around and say, I don't, I don't talk about faith. I'm not part of those faith people. Well, unless you are talking about those who are using the word just for personal greed, yes. then maybe you are correct. Mm -hmm. But you cannot generalize that anytime we are talking about faith, you switch off. Yes. You can. You are exposing yourself to unnecessary danger mm -hmm. because faith pleases God. Mm -hmm. Faith pleases God. 
without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yes. Now, a lot of people think we are talking about faith to be saved alone. No, faith to live a life of victory. Faith to get things done. Faith will prolong your life if you walk by faith and not by sight. That is why the Bible never says, without prayer, it is impossible to please God. The Bible never says, without singing, it is impossible to please God. Let me surprise you preachers. The Bible never say, without preaching, it is impossible to mm -hmm. please God. Because you can do all these things without faith. You can sing without faith. Mm -hmm. You can preach without faith. Yes. You can pray without faith. Yes. But faith is a, a proof producer. God said, without faith, you can't please me. You can do whatever. Because everything you do that does not include faith is sin. Is sin. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says, the Bible says, faith is the substance of things. Faith gives substance to things. Faith gives some substance to things. That's why I said faith is a proof producer. There must be things that faith produces. Things in your life, whether it is your health, your wealth, your home, your career, faith. Now, faith only comes through the word of God. You don't, you, don't, you don't go to people and be asking for their opinion. I said to, in our church, mm -hmm. I said, people's testimony can encourage you, but cannot develop your faith. Yes. Faith comes by hearing the word mm -hmm. and the word alone, the word of God. Because some people are sharing testimony and the testimony is not true. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. Or it's exaggerated version of what truly really happened. Yes. You know, evangelist. One thousand <laughs> people get saved. Only three hundred right. were in the room, <laughs> and people accept that. Yes. You know, so th those things are, are not because faith is truth. Faith is truth. Yes. You can't walk in la in deception and call it faith. It's fake. Now watch this. God is a faith God. Now, 2 Peter that we read, verses 3 and 4 of chapter 1, 2 Peter says, you are partakers of the divine nature. And I said, faith is the nature of God. So you are partaker. All things that you need, both for life and godliness, have been given to you. Everything. Everything that you will need has been given to you. A, a lot of people will look at Africa as a niche, as a continent, and they will say a poor continent. And I was before God, and God said it's not poor. And I look at it truly, from Cairo to Casablanca. Yes. There is no place in Africa that is poor. But you know why they still remain poor? Because they do it their way, not God's way. Wow. They, no, they do it their ways, not God's way. Even when we are in the church, we have reduced God to the deity to get things. Yes. And so if we don't get things, you don't have faith. Now, don't get me wrong. There is no way you will walk by faith that things will not come. Mm -hmm. Because faith gives substance to things. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. Yes. But there is also a place in faith that people will not receive what they prayed for, but because they trust the one who spoke, they still did not deny him. Mm -hmm. Because when you read that Hebrews that we talk about, the hall of faith, yes. you see, it, it, it says these people, even though they walked by faith, they mm -hmm. did not receive the promise. And we are still talking about them. Yes. When we reduce God to Father Christmas, when we reduce God to the deity we only get things from, that's when idolatry starts. I'm a man of faith. I preach faith. I walk by faith. There, there is nothing in my life that you cannot trace to faith. Mm. I was talking to my son the other time, and, and I said, oh, I want to do that. I, I was pointing to some things I want to do in the house. And I said, oh, that's going to cost $48,000. 
And my son said, wow, dad, I am so amazed at how you get things done effortlessly. I said, mm -hmm. faith. But faith without works is dead, being alone. I, I also have a very good work ethic. I work by wisdom. I develop myself. Now, let me show you what, what the scripture says in verse 5 of 2 Peter chapter 1. He says, but also for this very reason, after he already said you are a partaker of divine nature, yes. he said, giving all diligence, add to your faith. Add to your faith. There is one thing that prospers well in Africa, and that's religion. Whether it is Islamic religion or Christian religion or, or whatever, it just thrives. People want to be people of faith. Yes. But I'm calling on them, add to your faith, virtue. Add to your faith, knowledge. You will hear some people when they say they are preaching the script Bible, when they can preach Melchizedek in four different sermon. First sermon is Mel. <laughs> Second sermon is Z, <laughs> D, and the last one is Key. I, I mean, it, it, it's mind-boggling. Yes. And then they will wrap it with one prayer point that wrap, that will that will arouse people's emotion. I, 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 and, and, they will be, uh, uh, and you will go back there again. Many yes. years later, they are still broke. Yes. They are still poor. Their society is still unorganized. There is dirt everywhere. And if you go and tell them, this is not always oh, because you've been living in America for so long, you want to come and tell us what to do. Mm. So those of us who are wise, we just say, okay, if you are wise, you are wise for yourself. If you scoff, you bear it alone. Yes. You see? Because faith alone cannot get the job done until okay. you add virtue, until you add knowledge, until you add self-control, until you add perseverance, until you add godliness, until you have kindness, and until you add love. These are ingredients that will make your faith to produce. I'll be right back after this. Thank you so much, Bishop. Words of wisdom indeed, taking us deeper into what it means to be a partaker of the divine nature. We'll be back with more of this powerful word after these announcements. If you are in need of food or you know someone who is in need of food, join us for our free food bank every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. here at Kingdom Connection Christian Center. We are located at 1391 Oswego Street in Aurora, Colorado. For more information, give us a call at 720-859-1737. Join us for our oil change for the month of May. It will be on May 27th, Friday. Join Bishop Israel Ade Ajala and his special guest speaker, Bishop Abiola Idawu, for our oil change at 7 p.m. at Kingdom Connection Christian Center. You can download our app, a Day Ajala Ministries app on the Google Play and Apple iOS stores. Watch us on YouTube at A Day Ajala Ministries. Please like and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Bishop A Day Ajala and connect with us on Facebook at Bishop Israel A Day Ajala and Kingdom Connection Christian Center. Welcome back to Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. The theme and topic for today's subject is Partakers of the Divine Nature. Bishop, indeed, you have enlightened us so greatly on this topic and really equipped us as believers to know what it means to be a partaker of the divine nature. Bishop, it crossed my mind when you were sharing and teaching that it's a privilege. God has given us just a beautiful privilege to be partakers of the divine nature. But Bishop, there could be believers there who say, 
I don't feel qualified to be a partaker of the divine nature. Mm -hmm. Bishop, what are the qualifications, if there are any? Well, the first qualification, and I believe the only qualification for you to be able to partake in the nature of God is to be born again. Mm -hmm. New birth. That which is spirit is spirit. You must be born again. Yes. You must be born again. What do we mean by that? You must be able to confess the Lord Jesus. And you must be able to confess that God raised him from the dead, that he died and rose again. That's the beginning. That is what gives you access to the nature of God. Because the Bible says in Ephesians, we were dead in our trespasses. In Ephesians chapter 2, he said, we were dead in our trespasses. When he got to verse 4, he said, but God, who is rich in mercy? So because of the mercy of God, we are now, even though we were dead in trespasses, have been made alive. That is being born again. You've been made alive. When you are alive, what is alive? Not you physically, but yes. you spiritually. Your yes. spirit is alive now, and your spirit can now receive the life of God directly from God. Mm. And that is what will make you to have the nature of God. Once you are born again, the next thing is you must begin to feed your spirit. You feed your spirit. With what? With the word of God. The Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You must constantly feed yourself with the word. Now, if you continue to study the word, you continue to meditate on the word, faith will come. Because yes. faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you feed yourself, faith comes, your spirit gets stronger. Your spirit will feed your soul what God is saying. And once your soul is overwhelmed by the information that from the Lord Jesus himself, you can't stop transformation in your life. Mm. So revelation of the word of God that is as a result of the meditation that came from the information when you are reading the word, yes. will lead you to a life that has been transformed, transformation. And transformation will lead to more people coming to know the Lord. They will say, look at that sister, look at that brother, look at the area they were. I mean, we went to Israel. This is how faithful God is. Yes. We went to Israel and the Jewish land is green. And there is a fence between the Jew and the Palestinian. Yes. And on the other side is a complete chaos. Why would that be? One are operating by the principle of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the same with our life. And the team I took with me, I said, do you see physically? That when you obey the word of God, order first comes in, things come. Even if you go to some other Islamic world that, and they are doing, their nations are good, all these United Arab Emirates and so on and so forth. They came to United States to come and get the blueprint. Well, mm -hmm. they didn't say United States is a Christian nation, we are not going to go there. They learned from them. And, they, and if you go to their own country, it looks good. Why? Because if you use the principles of the word of God, I don't care who you are, it will produce for you. It doesn't discriminate. You know, now, it doesn't mean simply because you get things that you have gotten God and you are going to heaven. Exactly. That's not what I'm talking about. But you will live a life that is of quality. And those who fail to do that, we call you those faith people have come. I'm enjoying my life, brothers. <laughs> I'm enjoying my life, sisters. I may not have billions like Bezo, but there is nothing I want to spend that my God will not provide. Amen. He said, my God shall supply yes. all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I didn't have to worry about economic crash. You know why? God is in control of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about who is in the White House. You know why? God is on the White Throne. Yes. Now, 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 these are the things that people of faith must, I mean, we wrap our mind around and we are not walking around putting our head in the cloud, oblivious of what is going on. We turn our society upside up when Satan turns it upside down. 
where our mm -hmm. church is, we make sure that people feel our presence. Yes. As I'm come, as I drive to the church every day or drive out, people in the neighborhood, bishop, 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 they want mm -hmm. to talk to me. They want yes. why? Because we are the light. That's what faith produces. Yes. Faith that only build camps can build city is a fake faith. Mm -hmm. Can you say it again? Faith that only build camps but does not build city. It's a fake faith. If Nimrod, children, those who are not having as much faith as we are, if people can build cities, we are called to build cities. Not just a yeah. cocoon of some, all of us just gather someplace and call it, oh, this is, and I'm not saying anything. You start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. God put us in the garden with a goal that we will grow beyond the garden yes. and be all over the world. Our influence must be felt all around the world that we are here. Mm -hmm. are, are you hearing me? Yes. So, so be, why? Because we are partakers of the divine nature. When you are partaker of divine nature, what others call supernatural becomes your natural. Mm -hmm. It is natural for Jesus to turn water to wine. He is God of all. It's natural for Jesus to make Lazarus to come to, to back to life. Because death is the absence of life and Jesus is the life. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when life returns, death disappears. It's the same thing. He says, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. So if I am not walking in the supernatural that God has already given me, the fault is not God, the fault is on my side, yes. not fault in terms of error, yes. but I need to do more to push myself to get to the place where God can trust me with his power. Yes. You see, these are things that we are looking at today. He said, add to your faith, add to your faith, virtue. That word virtue is the Greek word aret, and it means excellence. Mm -hmm. Add to your faith, excellence. excellence. And Christians, brothers and sisters, we've got to come to the place in our life that we don't settle for mediocrity. Add to your faith, excellence. Something that is praiseworthy. Yes. You know, I, my, my dear friend that sold this property, I mean, found, found this property and, 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 and worked to get us to buy the property mm -hmm. out. Every time he has a, a friend in town, he will bring his friend to come and see the building. And he will say, you, you, you need to see this building when Bishop bought this property. It was a rundown building. But because of excellence, we turn it to a place where people come in, they say, wow, that's how your life should be. It may be out of shape, out of, sh I mean, maybe run out, go on that, but keep feeding the word. The word will be mounting your spirit and your soul, and you will be changing, and you will not notice it on your own, but people around you will begin to notice. Virtue. Yes. Virtue. We must become people of virtue. When we become people of virtue, we will see that God is not playing with our life. No. Faith no. works. Faith works. He said, add to your faith virtue. Not only virtue, he said, add to your faith knowledge. And that word is the Greek word gnosis. Gnosis is not ginosko, it's gnosis. Knowledge, mm. it means science, the art of knowing. A lot of Christians refuse to add knowledge to their faith. Mm -hmm. And when they are talking, they are talking rubbish and they are very convinced talking rubbish. Because you never know you are talking rubbish until the truth is revealed to you. <laughs> That's true. You know? That's true. You are very wrong and sincere. So you are now sincerely wrong. You see, the Christianity does not mean we must gauge our brain. No. It means we actually are showing the excellence of mental faculty that God created. That's what he said. Add to your faith, nurses, knowledge, general intelligence, understanding. May I suggest to you, don't just read the Bible, read other books too. Because it will, it will broaden your experience, mm -hmm. your understanding. You will be able to understand people so they can understand you. Not only do you add knowledge, you must add self-control. And that is egratia. 
Egratia. That's the Hebrew word. I, do, I don't even know whether I pronounce it right. But it means temperance. It's temperance. You don't just keep flying off the handle all the time. Temperance. Self-control. The one who can master himself has mastered life. The one who can master himself has mastered life. A lot of people want to master life when they have not yet mastered themselves. You need to master yourself first before you can master life. And then you can now demonstrate master's life. <laughs> when you master your own life, you have mastered life and you can now show for the master's life. You see, these are things that people don't know. And they just think, oh, I'm a man of faith. And then some now, because they don't understand these things, they say, oh, those faith preachers are right. Oh, I don't, I don't listen to those faith preachers. Well, keep listening to doubt. Keep listening to doubt. If, if you think faith is expensive, continue in unbelief. You will realize that unbelief is more critical, I mean, dangerous than faith. We will continue on partaker of divine nature next week. Let me pray for you before we go. Father, I thank you for this word that you have planted in my heart to bless the body of Christ that we will arise and begin to produce proof through our faith that you have given us that come as a result of your word. And because of that veracity, the verity of your word, I speak healing to the one that is sick. I speak open door to the one that is trusting you for open door. I speak joy unspeakable, full of glory to the one that is grieving right now. And we will meet next week to the praise of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the radio ministry of Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. For more information, contact Bishop Israel Ade Ajala by email at info at kcconline.org or by phone at 720-859-1737. Thank you.